Hey guys, Amy here. Well, today I'm going to be taking care of our moringa plant. <laughs> I have two of them that the last couple of storms and the last bad weather we had, uh, they've completely have fallen down. And so I got to take care of them. I even have um, the one over by my car, which I don't know. Yeah, you see it right there. Yeah it's resting on my car so i gotta take these branches down so what i do is i go ahead and i harvest the leaves i will go ahead and show you how i do this and how to cut this moringa um, moringa is a um uh like a a super food it's uh grown a lot in the subtropicals it has a very long trap uh tap root um, but it is great. It's nutritious. It has lots of vitamins and minerals and um, They also grow this in the um, uh, In South Africa um, as a way to help with um, The nutrition for the people down there because it can grow in sand this this stuff can grow really really good um as you can tell with this one, I got a couple of seed pods and I'll show you a close up of the seed pods in a minute. Um, so with this particular one, I'm just going to trim up to the seed pods. But if a branch doesn't have any um, seed pods, I'm going to go ahead and take it down. Um, I did one branch earlier um, last month and it's already sprouting um new growth so i'm just going to go ahead and get these guys trimmed up because they are a soft wood um so unfortunately it bends when it gets heavy and these guys i need them to kind of grow more upward than outward right now <laughs> so i'm going to show you everything in just a minute okay this is the one that's near my jeep I am going to um, go ahead and cut all those branches. This particular one, I don't have any seed pods on, but you can tell it's taller than the roof. It's starting to bend, it's getting heavy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it down a little bit. And then this one seems to be doing okay. I just have the one branch. So I'm gonna take that one down because it is bending and probably this small one right here too. So let's get started okay guys i couldn't get a good angle because of the banana trees were kind of in the way the leaves but as you could tell got this one all short and i cut the one off of that as well but you just want to leave like a little stump because what will happen is at all these little nodes not sure if it'll pick it up it will um start sprouting new ones um this one doesn't quite have any new growth coming Oop, that's thunder i better get a move on yep over there got a storm coming all right so <laughs> time to get the other one which is over here this one's going to take a little bit longer and i should be able to show you guys a little bit more um, but with this one, I have to be careful because there are seed pods on this one, like right there. That, ugh, if I can move it, that is a huge seed pod. Oh, hey, Mr. Lizard. I mean, it's all soft, so it's almost ready to be picked. But uh, I got a few of them. Like, I got one starting right here. So this, this one here, I'll probably cut right up to where the seed pod is, which is right there. That's where the seed pod's connected to tree. So I might cut it there just to get some weight off of it. And then I'll show you what I mean by this tree's got a perfect example. Um, over here is what I mean when you cut it, it sprouts off new ones right off the limb. So this one I'll probably cut till about here if it doesn't have a seed pod, just so I can let these branches grow. 
All right. Ugh. Ooh, but this is my big one. This is the first time. This was one of the first ones I planted for moringa. So it's a very big tree. And uh, we're going to get going. to move it inside the thunder and lightning started getting really bad even though it hasn't started raining yet and obviously in florida you don't want to deal with the lightning, lightning. so the moringa um this plant is very nutritious and um, the leaves you can pick them off and eat them raw mm. They have like um like a little at the end there's like this little um little spice it's not bad not as strong as pepper but a little bit lighter than pepper it's really good so what i do with the tree branches here obviously got a whole branch this part i will put into our um bananas um let it decompose uh, because even the stems hold nutrition in them and bananas are heavy feeders now branches like these where you can see the yellowing see how it's not quite as bright green as this these types of branches i will also give that over to um i'll keep them separated i'll give them to my chickens the goats the turkeys it's nutritious for them as well but with these, all I have to do is just break off the stem. It's that easy. And then I will group a bunch of these together. And I'm going to show you that here. Let me get a few and I'm going to show you a bundle. I tie them together and then I just hang them on my wall in my dining room. Um, I let them dry for a few weeks. Once they're nice and dry, I will then um, take them and go like this. All the leaves will come off and then I put them into a zip up bag or a, um, if I happen to be grinding up um, spices, I will go ahead and throw these into a small little, uh, we have a bullet uh, blender and I'll put it into the cup and grind them up into a powder and then I put them into a container for Donald to use when he's uh, cooking. So I'll be right back and I'm going to show you the bundles that I do. All right, there's one bundle, and you just want to make sure it's kind of loose, but you want to make sure airflow gets in through all, in, in, especially in the center, because you don't want it to start drying out and then there'll be um, oh, spider. Another reason to do it outside. <laughs> but like I said, I would normally do this outside, but I was forced <laughs> because of the weather today, but. As you can tell, it's just loosely tied together. And then uh, we'll turn this into um, powder later on. That's all the moringa that came out of those few little branches I got cut down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish tying them up into small bundles but pretty easy. And then once they're dry, I'll do another uh, little video on how I process all that. Hi Luna, what Luna doing? You checking it out? Don't eat any. I gotta save it for your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I got my moringa hanging. I just gotta let it dry. And then I will be able to then turn it into powder 
for us to use in our dishes. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.